Hello, Buck student athletes. To those of you who are returning to ETSU, welcome back. And to those who are new to campus, welcome to the Buck family. My name is Jenny Wittenauer and I'm the Compliance Coordinator here at ETSU. The following videos will provide important information about your rights and responsibilities as a student athlete. If you have any questions about the information included here, be sure to let me know. My contact information will be available at the conclusion of the videos. The first thing we'll discuss is the Student Athlete Code of Conduct. These are our expectations of you as a student athlete and as a representative of ETSU. The Code of Conduct covers these topics. Sportsmanship, hazing, drug, alcohol, and tobacco use, social networking, gambling and sports wagering, and reporting NCAA violations. With sportsmanship, this is something you've learned about since you are playing in Little League. If you conduct yourself with respect for those around you, then there are not going to be any issues. The NCAA and the Southern Conference will hold ETSU responsible for your conduct. So in turn, we will hold you responsible. On the screen is a very broad definition of hazing. Hazing means different things to different people. You may think something is tradition or all in fun, but that doesn't make it okay. Allegations of hazing are taken very seriously and are larger than just the athletic department. They are handled by the university as a whole. Hazing activities will not be tolerated here on campus. In addition to the NCAA drug testing uh, that you see some information about here, ETSU will administer our own drug testing program. Dr. Brian Johnston will go into more detail about the drug testing, but you do need to be aware of the ramifications. Be sure to advise the training staff about any and all medications and supplements that you are taking. The NCAA does drug test year round in all sports. And if you do test positive, you're looking at at least a six month loss of eligibility. The alcohol guidelines are pretty self-explanatory. This is a dry campus. As a student athlete, alcohol use is prohibited when representing ETSU in any capacity, regardless of your age. The use of tobacco products during practice or competition is an NCAA violation. This applies to both coaches and student athletes. You could be prohibited from continuing in the end of practice or even participating in the competition if you're found to be using any kind of tobacco product. When it comes to social networking, I know that everyone loves to tweet, post, share, snap, vine, and Instagram everything that's happening in their life. But be aware of what you're putting out there in the public eye. Unless your account is set to private, almost anyone can see what you post if they look hard enough. Think before you post. Not only are you a representative of ETSU and the athletic department, but the things that you post reflect directly on you. Grad school, internships, job interviews, people selecting those positions will look at your public persona. Don't give them a reason to doubt you. Social media and social networking can be incredibly valuable and entertaining. In order to put your best foot forward, avoid inappropriate or offensive content such as photos, videos, or comments showing the use of alcohol, tobacco, or drugs. You should avoid posts that are of a sexual nature, including lewd or vulgar language and nudity. And you should avoid inappropriate language, including threats of violence or derogatory comments against race, gender, or sexual orientation. If we see inappropriate content, we will contact your coaching staff. Depending on the content, we may also ask you to remove or edit the posting as well. Gambling on sports is prohibited by the NCAA. This includes all levels of competition, professional, Olympic, college, Little League, Pop Warner, it doesn't matter. Also keep in mind that wagering on sports includes when anything of value is risked based on the outcome of an athletic event. It could be something as simple as saying whoever makes the fewest free throws in practice has to buy dinner. Other things that are considered gambling or sports wagering include fantasy leagues with a fee and a prize, March Madness brackets with a prize, and things such as DraftKings games. Finally, as a student athlete, if you are aware of a suspected violation, you are required to report it. You can report it to the Compliance Office, the Faculty Athletic Representative, Dr. Susan Epps, the Athletic Director, or your coach. We expect a lot of you as a student athlete and as a representative of ETSU. We hope this helps you become the best buck that you can be.